Papa said, there is no single moment that I remember that I don't want to paint or draw. So that's his passion that he kept on drawing, and parang it's part of his time. I am Silvia Amorsolo Lasso, the fourth child of uh, Fernando C. Amorsolo, married to Maria del Carmen. Definitely, it's my father's work, and I would say it is one of his masterpieces compared to the other paintings of the same subject matter. Here you could see the style that he used, um, struck of the sun from the light and the shadow. That's why he was even called Master of Philippine Light. No? And uh, you would even see that a simple stroke would define the contour of the anatomy. Of course, you have also this detail as you look at the face of the woman. She looks so beautiful. And even the background where you have the mango tree and also the lips. No? I know Papa's favorite is the mango tree and the bamboo trees, and also the fire tree. Usually it uh, symbolizes uh, the family. When I first saw it, I was really struck with its beauty, its freshness, and its perfect condition. I'm Isidra Reyes. I'm a writer, usually of um, popular history, establishing of uh, Good provenance is important in determining the, the authenticity of a painting, especially with this piece, which, uh, which remained with the Nell family for, since 1929. Aside from there being a signature and a date, we know that it came from a collector of Amor Solo paintings. Mr. Edward J. Nell was one of the biggest figures in Philippine business during the American colonial era. He was called the father of Philippine air conditioning because he brought Carrier Incorporated here in the Philippines. The year 1929 um, was a year after he sent his family to, to Atherton. I suspect this Amorsola piece was a gift to his wife who would, I think, appreciate it more. I guess that's what attracted the Americans to buy his paintings uh, of this, uh, this type, because it reminded him so much of uh, their stay here in the Philippines. Many Americans who lived here during the peacetime era had beautiful memories of the Philippines. I think uh, it is one of the very best examples of an Amor Solo genre painting that I have seen personally. I think it's very unique in that you can see all the details more up close. Even the shape of the canvas, a square, it's very unusual. Whoever will have it, you're very lucky and uh, you will take care of it and maybe you can pass it from generation to generation. Until now people are wanting to own an Amor Solo, no? Maybe um, he recreated God's creation through his canvas.